Since joining the Raiders in 2022, Devontae Adams has yet to make the playoffs with Las Vegas. And if they were to make the playoffs this season, they weren't going to contend. That's the reality of the situation. With this in mind, Adams has requested a trade and is looking to go elsewhere for this last year of his guaranteed contract. And with this in mind, a number of teams could use him. A bunch of teams have been thrown out there. But there's only two or three teams that could use him. So here are some teams that have interest in him, but the reality of the situation is they won't land him. And then later on, I'll explain why two or three teams are realistic landing spots to acquire Adams. So the first two that aren't realistic are the Chargers and the Chiefs. The Chargers and the Chiefs have been thrown out there because they need wide receiver help. Rashi Rice just got injured, might be out for the season for the Chiefs. Marquise Brown is out for the regular season. The Chargers, they don't have a wide receiver one yet. Quentin Johnson hasn't looked like he can be a wide receiver one, nor has Josh Palmer. So with this in mind, both teams could use one. But the reality is there's no way the Raiders will trade Devonta Adams to the Chiefs or the Chargers. Adam Schefter reported that the Raiders are looking for a second round pick and probably a fourth or a fifth round pick for Adams. Since the Chiefs and Chargers are division rivals, the Raiders will never trade him to those teams unless they give up more, so like a first-round draft pick. And there's no chance the Chiefs or the Chargers are willing to part with a first-round draft pick for Devontae Adams for what will seemingly be one year of Devontae Adams. And if the if the Raiders can get a second round from, let's say, the Lions or a second round from the Chiefs, they're picking the Lions all day because they're not a division rival. Now we'll bring up the Boston Ravens, another team that couldn't use Devontae. They have Zay Flowers, they have Mark Andrews, they have Isaiah Likely, but that's not a receiving core that's going to set you up for success. You need a little bit more juice to that. Devontae Adams is still a top five, top seven wide receiver in the NFL. I think top five, some can argue differently. But the reality of the situation is I don't think Baltimore will move, make a move for Devontae because they don't have much cap space. They have around $3 million cap space. And we've seen teams manipulate and restructure contracts, but I don't think Baltimore's going to do that they have a young quarterback lamar jackson i think they see that they they can get away with not bringing in a true guy right now and worse comes to worse if they don't win it all this season then they'll make a move for a top wide receiver in the off season but with the way the salaries worked out and this the way their team is built in terms of most of their players are younger aside from derrick henry I don't see them going all in and trying to acquire Devontae Adams. Now that brings up the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys are in a different situation than the Ravens. They have the cap space to acquire Devontae. They have about $20 million in cap space. They have a need for Devontae. They don't have wide receiver too. They don't have any weapons outside of CeeDee Lamb. The backfield hasn't been good. The receiving core hasn't stepped up. But the Dallas Cowboys, again, are not in a position to acquire Devontae. I think they're just going to take this season as it goes, see where they're at. They just signed Dak Prescott to a big contract. They just signed CeeDee Lamb to a big contract. They need players on good contracts in terms of they're going to be here for three to four years making a low amount of money, so rookie deals, in order to contend with Dak having 60 mil and CeeDee Lamb having 40 mil for the next four seasons. So giving them a second-round pick – is huge because, yes, they bring in Devontae this year, but with Devontae, I don't think they're competing for a Super Bowl. And if you don't want a Super Bowl now, you trade away a second-round draft pick, which could turn into a player that could be an X factor on this team for years to come, especially with Micah Parsons doing a deal. If you want him, rookie deals matter. So I don't see Dallas acquiring Devontae Adams. Now let's look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers were in the brand IU sweepstakes. They were trying to acquire IU when he was looking for a new team outside of San Francisco. And right now, they're in a position where they're 3-1. and one. Justin Fields played his best half of football of his entire career against Indianapolis Colts in the second half. He looked really strong, really good. Now it's like, oh, are the Steelers going to acquire Devontae? Are they going to go all in this season? Right? They have an unsolvable defense. Fields looks good. Are they going to acquire a top wide receiver? No, I don't think they do because they're trying to get young. I think they're they're willing to give up stake, a first or a second round draft pick for a player, but they want them to be a key contributor that's here to stay. That's why they were interested in Ayuk. Ayuk is 25, maybe 26 years old. They would pay him top five wide receiver money, but they would have him in his prime for four to five years. Devontae Adams is going to turn 32 midway through the season. And he doesn't necessarily fit this idea of paying a big wide receiver who's also 
a little bit younger that can stay here and develop with Fields or maybe they dropped a quarterback next year with this future younger quarterback and be with him for a number of seasons. So I don't think they go after Devontae because he's just a little too old for them. Buffalo Bills, same situation. They don't have a lot of cap space and they're trying to get younger, right? They, If they wanted a top wide receiver, a top playmaker, they would have gone after somebody this offseason. They would have made that move. They would have traded Stefan Diggs and then flipped that pick for someone, right? But they didn't. That's because they want to stay younger. That's why they drafted Dalton Cade first round two years ago. That's why they drafted Keon Coleman with their first pick in the draft this season because they want to get younger. They have Khalil Shakir. They have a young receiving core. And I don't see them going after Devontae because then that goes against everything they did this offseason. They're trying to get younger. So why are they going to try and get older? So I'd rule the Buffalo Bills out. And again, they don't have cap space. So it's not a luxury. And like the Dallas Cowboys, if they want to get younger, if they want to keep players around on cheaper contracts, giving them a second round draft pick totally defeats their purpose, right? They lose a player who would be a key piece to this team, who would be on a good contract, a rookie deal for a one-year rental Devontae Adams. I don't see that happening either. So no to the Bills, no to the Steelers, no to the Ravens, no to the Chiefs, no to the Chargers, and no to the Cowboys. Another team that's been mentioned is a reunion between the Packers and Devontae Adams. The Packers... Had a lot of success last year, made it to the divisional round, almost beat the San Francisco 49ers, and they look to potentially try and take that next step and trying to contend this season. So they could go after Devontae Adams, especially with Christian Watson potentially being out for a few weeks with an injury. But I don't think the Packers can go after Devontae. They have a young team. They don't have to win right now, right? They would love to, but they don't need to. Jordan Love is going to continue to excel. The receiving core, Jaden Reed, when Watson comes back, Romeo Dobbs will continue to grow and excel. They have Josh Jacobs, who's a younger running back. They have a young offensive line. Their whole team's young. They don't have anyone that's, hey, we're out of here after the season. Like We're not going to be able to compete at this high level. But they're a young team. I don't see them sacrificing picks to try and win now because they have such a large window of contention. Now, with the Packers officially eliminated, there's three teams that I truly think could really use Devontae Adams and will go all in for Devontae Adams. The first one is the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons are in win-now mode. They declared win-now mode this offseason when they signed Kirk Cousins, a quarterback who's 36 years old, coming off Achilles injury to a $160 million contract over four years. Not a lot of teams would do that. You'd only do that if you're trying to compete in one now. And that's why they signed Kirk. Then you look at other key contributors on their team, Matthew Judon, Justin Simmons, one-year deals, players that are around their 30s who could hit a sharp decline next season. They're in a win-now mode. Their defense is set. They have the best secondary in football. They have a defensive-minded coach in Raheem Morris. The only missing piece is a talented player on the offensive receiving core. I love Drake London. I think he's super good but he's on the upper echelon of wide receiver once. I think Kyle Pitts can turn it around, but he hasn't shown that he is a tight end one in terms of like being the best tight end in the NFL right now. I like Bijan Robinson a lot. Their offensive line's great. They're literally just missing one more receiving presence because I think if they have Devonta Adams step in, Drake London will go from middle of the pack wide receiver one to the best, one of the best wide receiver twos in the NFL. I think Kyle Pitts will get a lot more open looks at tight end. Darnell Mooney is a really talented player. He's done well in Atlanta. He's playing his best football ever that I've ever seen him play. And you make him a wide receiver three, this whole receiving core just takes a huge step up. And one thing we know about Kirk Cousins is when he is a top dog wide receiver on his team, he makes that connection work really, really well. Look what he did with Jefferson. That was a unbelievable connection. And I think if Devonta Adams comes into this fold, joins Atlanta, they are officially in contention of being one of the best teams in the NFC and contending to go and potentially win the Super Bowl. So the Falcons have about $9 million in cash space. They have to restructure. But the picks for the future don't matter to this team because they're in win-now mode. Their team is in position in terms of age where they have to win now. They have to contend. So I'd see them going all in for Devontae Adams. Then there's two more teams that could potentially go after Devontae Adams that have a real need for him. Now there's two teams that are remaining that have interest and the need for Devontae Adams outside the Atlanta Falcons. The first one being the New York Jets. Aaron Rodgers and the Jets have to win now. They're in win now mode. Who knows how much longer Rodgers has. This could be his potential last year, what we may call prime Aaron Rodgers, right? They need to contend right now. And this connection with Garrett Wilson is not going well. 
Is it going to work out? Can it work out? And will it work out in the future? Yes. Is it going to work out later in the season? Yes. But they need to win right now. You're getting to the meat of your schedule. You're four weeks into it. You need to win games right now. And in order to win right now and to excel and propel this offense and actually have it show signs of life, they need Devontae Adams. Through four weeks, they have the lowest scoring offense, the least amount of points out there. They need Devontae Adams because Rodgers likes to throw the ball to general areas and expects his receivers to be there. We saw the miscommunication happen this past week with Garrett Wilson. He has his connection with Adams already. That's going to work out. And if he brings Devonta Adams in, he's going to have their go-to guy right now. And then it will allow Garrett Wilson to then become not only a top-tier wide receiver too, per se, but grow the connection with Rodgers without feeling as much pressure every single play to have to be open or have to read Rodgers' mind because Devonta Adams is there to do so. Alan Lazard looks really good. And you may come your wide receiver three. This team is firing on all cylinders. And at the end of the day, you can say Devontae might need Rodgers, but Rodgers needs Devontae Adams. The one complete season that Aaron Rodgers played without Devontae Adams, he put up his lowest holes in everything, and that was 2022. The first year that Adams was on the Las Vegas Raiders was the first year that Rodgers, or the last year and the first year that he was without Devontae Adams, and the last year he was on the Green Bay Packers. He threw for 3,600 yards, his lowest total ever as, since becoming a star for the Packers. He threw 12 interceptions, his second most interceptions ever thrown in a season, his most being 13, and that was his first year as a like full-time starter. And then he threw his second lowest touchdowns ever, 26. He didn't do well. He didn't play Rodgers-esque without Devontae Adams there. He, and right now, he's on pace to probably play worse than what he did in 2022. So Rodgers needs Adams right now. So if you're the Jets, you have to do whatever it takes to go after Adams. The last team that I think can go after Devonta Adams and needs him and just to be over the top is the Detroit Lions. The Lions have a great offense, probably arguably the best offensive line in football. They control the line of scrimmage. They have the best backfield in the NFL with Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. They absolutely just run the ball. No issue, no concern. That's what they did in Seattle. It just guts teams out and excels. Then you look at the receiving core. Amon Ross St. Brown is one of the best receivers at finding open zones. He's great. Jared Goff looks awesome. Sam Laporta, great tight end. Jamison Williams, he is a great wide receiver. He's doing well, but I don't know if he's a wide receiver too on a contending team. He's more of a Xavier Worthy-esque player in terms of he'll take the top off the defense. He's due for one, maybe two big plays a game, but he's not necessarily relied upon to get you consistent plays after play after play after play in terms of receptions. You can't count on the guy to get you 10, 12 receptions, which you don't necessarily need to do, right, when you're having a 60-yard touchdown. But I think if you make him a wide receiver three, that deep threat, that that guy who just guns it down the down the field and takes top of the defense with Aminra, who finds the open zone, and you pair up there a route runner who's always open, and Devontae Adams, this would be this would become the best offense in the NFL by a mile. They already might be the best offense in the NFL. But with Devontae, they'd be so overpowered offensively that they would destroy any team they'd ever face. So I'd say if you're the Lions, you have the cap space. They have the most cap space amongst all the teams that I mentioned with 40 mil in cap space. You go out there and you acquire Devontae Adams. So all in all, the three teams that have the biggest need and have the best capability of aggression and assets to acquire and pursue Devontae Adams are the Jets, the Falcons, and the Lions. Who is the favorite, in my opinion? The Jets. Who is going to land them? The Jets. Who needs them the most? The Jets. And I truly believe the Jets are going to go and acquire Devontae Adams, and he's going to propel this offense to a level that we haven't seen before. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for listening, and please subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.